welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Cancer. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of February, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear whenever you're meant to hear it. So for your cards, Cancer, I will be using the Mystical Manga Tarot by Rand and Barbara Moore. For your person, the Fortune Telling Tarot Deck by Yoshitaka Amano. And if clarifiers are needed, the Manga Tarot by Selena Lin. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What is Cancer thinking overall about this connection right now? What are some things going on in your daily life could be affecting this connection? And what is going on in your heart space? How are you feeling? How are you feeling about your person? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message. One more. Okay, we do have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck here, Cancer Energy specifically, and it does feel like there is someone, someone you're connected to, someone on your mind, someone coming towards you. You're definitely holding space for something very positive. I do have to say in this particular reading, it definitely looks like you are clearing things, clearing things from the past, releasing things that don't serve, releasing things that haven't felt right, so you can can open up to something that is completely like a match for you, someone who really sees you and gets you. So you're definitely creating space and I do feel like you have something really positive coming towards you here. Now we're going to get the cards for your person. Let my dog out real quick. Sorry, I just saw my boyfriend pull into the driveway and I know that my dog, the second he comes in the door, my dog's going to start freaking out, wanting to go greet him. So I figured I'll just go ahead and do that before he gets all noisy. Okay, now let's get the cards for your person. Spirit, what is the person connected to or coming towards cancer thinking about them right now? What are they thinking? What are they thinking overall about them? What are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting this connection? What is happening in the heart space? How is this person, how is this person feeling, feeling about cancer? What intentions do they have towards this connection? What intentions? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Oh my goodness. Okay. You are definitely anchoring in something. Now, we do have on the bottom of the deck for your person, the five of wands. Leo energy could be significant, strong in your chart of your persons. And interestingly, the sun is kind of peeking out here. Leo energy also, but um, that is showing up in your cards as well. I do feel like there is somebody who's thinking about you, somebody who's coming towards you, somebody who's very attracted to you, has very warm feelings towards you. They are kind of feeling conflicted about what to say or do or what action to take and how to move forward. So the heart of the matter for you is the king of swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy, specifically Gemini because kings are mutable energy, but um, some of you could definitely be dealing with an air sign of any kind, but this is clarity. This is focus. This is integrity. This is, you know, very positive mental energy. It's setting intentions and knowing what you're about. Now, you could be attracted to somebody who has this energy, very clear, very focused, very direct. It is kind of an energy, though, at times for me in a love reading that can be holding in or hiding like that softer side. Might not be somebody who necessarily wears 
wears their heart on the sleeve doesn't mean they don't feel very deeply. But with this energy, you could also be in that sense, like I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to decide when to show my emotions, what time is the right time. And I'm thinking very clearly, I'm setting my intentions. Or you could be connected to someone like that. Your person here has the four of swords. Libra energy could be significant, but this is a very quiet energy. This is someone who's healing from something from the past. Now, if something did happen between the, you and someone else that maybe caused some stress or caused some drama, I do feel like both of you kind of want to put that in the past. I just heard bury the hatchet, which is interesting. Of course, there's many of you that are, are dealing with someone that you've never had any issues with, you know, yet. But if you are dealing with somebody where there's been some sort of hurt feeling, some kind of miscommunication, they do want to put that behind them. Though there is a little bit of a quiet energy with the Four of Swords, could be a psychic connection. This person could be thinking about you, dreaming about you. Um, but I feel like they're also gaining some clarity and focus on how to move forward. Now, your daily life. We have the Six of Swords and the Fool energy. Aquarius here for the Six of Swords and Aries and Aquarius for me with the Fool, um, just me as a reader. But this is so clear. Like this is leaving behind some stress, leaving behind some drama, some overthinking, putting some things that have been negative, you know, anything that's been holding you back. If there has been some sort of drama, it's like you're done. And with this particular Six of Swords, I feel like this is an energy of like, I would rather be on my own than be mixed up in something stressful, something dram dramatic, or be dealing with somebody who isn't straightforward or honest with me. Like, you know, you want something, you know, that feels right. And so you are, you know, releasing some stressful things and even just thoughts or thoughts, even just old ways of thinking you could be putting in the past, but you're really freeing yourself of situations. And since it's showing up in your daily life, some of you could even be choosing to make some choices in your daily life that that just kind of free you up and you know just maybe staying out of the drama if you have a workspace or a family where there's just a lot of hectic energy or chaos doesn't necessarily mean you have to leave that but you can like just get in a space energetically mentally where you don't get caught up in it all because here with this full this is this free spirited light-hearted energy cleared karma i'm ready for new beginnings i'm ready to just enjoy myself and i feel like you've done some inner work you've done some inner work to clear you know some past negativity and once again this is like a free single energy if i need to be single and on my own to be free of the drama and the worry i'm okay with that doesn't necessarily mean that you know that you are single or that you aren't you know anchoring in something very positive because we did see that two of cups in the bottom of the deck there is connection there is love there's something very good for you coming towards you but I feel like there is something about you freeing yourself of something that just hasn't felt right that is really key here your person has a knight of pentacles Taurus energy could be significant but I do feel like with the four of swords there's a little bit of a quiet energy with the knight of pentacles this is somebody who is steadily moving towards you somebody who is um who is a planner, somebody who is caring, kind, generous. It's a very stable energy. The Knight of Pentacles can be, you know, one of the slowest moving nights in the tarot, but it is the night that crosses the finish line. Somebody could definitely have their eye on you, their mind on you, be coming towards you, thinking about you, or even planning how to make this work. Now, if this is somebody who has been moving really slowly or not necessarily communicating um, their emotions and things like that, you may be, you know, just deciding, you know, you're gonna cut something loose like if it's just taking forever or you're this somebody's always left you wondering that sort of thing um but once again you are because you are kind of clearing out things that just don't feel right you're opening up space for somebody who's genuine somebody who is honest somebody who is faithful somebody who is stable and somebody who has maybe been coming towards you for quite some time with this knight of pentacles in your heart space interesting again i have to say this goes very much with the six of swords and the full energy freeing yourself up from stressful dramatic things to be you know light and open you've got a death energy and a nine of pentacles scorpio could be significant virgo here with a nine of pentacles but once again you are clearing out old things releasing the past letting go of things that just don't serve anymore and um and you are making space 
for someone who is going to treat you with honesty, integrity, you're finding your balance, you're finding your independence. And you know, once again, I would rather be on my own than deal with anything that's stressful, that's toxic, anyone that doesn't really express themselves. Like you are clearing space because you have this sense of who you are, what it is you want, what it is you deserve. And that is exactly what you are attracting towards you. You know, someone that really sees you for who you are, somebody who recognizes your value. The Nine of Pentacles is the perfect energy to be in to anchor in that Ten of Pentacles. That Ten of Pentacles is that happy, lasting, stable connection. Something, you know, that can really stand the test of time. A connection with somebody who recognizes you and all the value and all the beauty that you are. You know, everything that you hold, everything you have to offer. But in order to attract that in a connection, you've got to see that in yourself. And you've got to not settle for anything or anyone that does not recognize all of that in you. And I have to say, that's where you're at right now. This is a powerful time. Time of just clearing out and releasing things that don't match this, you know, vibration that you're in now. And it's interesting. I've been thinking a lot about just cycles, you know, cycles of rebirth, cycles of transformation. And, um, and I know I've had times in my life where I've had to just make a clean break once and for all from situations that just don't match who I am anymore. And it can be challenging. There can even be a little bit of a grieving process. But when you're going through a spiritual awakening, when you're going through a transformation, and many of us who are, you know, interested in things like tarot and astrology are on like a spiritual path where empaths, you know, we're sensitive. When you're going through this whole awakening process, you're going to go through these cycles of like death and rebirth birth in your life where you realize certain things just don't resonate for you anymore and you have got to you know um clear them out even if it means taking time to be on your own to anchor in and make space for the things that are on you know this newer or higher vibration that you are anchoring in and I feel like that's right where you're at and it's a beautiful energy to be in now your person has the high priestess cancer Virgo and Pisces energy for me as a reader it is a quiet energy it is a secretive energy it is extremely intuitive once again a lot of psychic and quiet energy over here on the side of your person you could be now if you have released a situation like a past situation that just wasn't right you could definitely be anchoring in somebody that you are deeply and divinely connected with and anchoring in a connection and they can be sensing and feeling you know that you're out there coming towards you but if there's somebody that you're specifically dealing with you know who it is you know this is somebody you're interested in somebody you want to be with um, even if there has been some quiet has been some challenge and even if you're not going to stand for for the way things were in the past and you've got to open up to a new beginning you're awakening something you know when something is awakening in this person something deep something intuitive something with this understanding of everything that you are everything the two of you are to each other everything that both of you you know hold dear and have to offer one another they're having like this divine awareness and awakening within them and I feel like maybe they haven't told you yet but they're thinking about you quite a lot could be having dreams about you could be hoping that they're going to have a chance with you and if it is somebody new they're absolutely coming towards you but they may not have said a word there's a lot of planning energy and there's a lot of quiet energy when it comes to this person with the high priestess being what they're feeling in their heart space especially since that for me is you know cancer energy one of the main energies for that card um as I said, Pisces and Virgo as well. There's there's a lot of things that come through in that particular card. But the fact that they're feeling you specifically in their hard space and yet they're being kind of quiet about it could say that um, you are on their mind and yet they may not have told you yet. We have the Queen of Wands energy. Aries energy could be significant, but I have to say this is somebody who's very attracted to you. They're very drawn to you. They want to do something spontaneous to let you know how they're feeling. They're thinking about you quite a lot. There could be a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction, and they could be thinking and feeling. So I was kind of like, what is it that they're holding in? What is it that they haven't told you yet? 
yet. Well, the Queen of Wands is somebody who's extremely attracted to you. So they're extremely attracted to you, extremely drawn to you. And I feel like they could even be deciding what to say or what to do. And if you have been in all this independent energy and kind of freeing yourself from past things, this person is seeing that as a, like a really attractive quality and they are very drawn to you. And I feel like if you're like going through some sort of a kind of like awakening and really just being authentic about who you are, this person is very drawn to that energy. And if it is somebody new, you're definitely magnetizing in somebody who's incredibly attracted to you because of all of this independence, because of all this self-awareness that you are in right now. But they're definitely wanting to do something spontaneous to show you just how interested they are. Now, your intentions here are the five of cups. Um, Scorpio energy could be significant, but it's clear. With the Six of Swords and the Death card, you're releasing something. Could be something to do with the, this connection. Could be just other things in your life that just don't fit anymore. But you're freeing yourself up. You're getting really clear. You're setting intentions for what you want. But there is a little bit of a grieving process. I do have to say, anytime you release something, even if you know it's just not the right thing for you anymore, there is a little bit of a process of feeling your way through that, grieving the things that you know you need to release. But at the same time, your guides are saying that two of cups, and it is the same two of cups that we saw here on the bottom of the deck. It is here. It is still standing. Even though you've released some things, even though you've let go of some things that just don't feel right, this two of cups, it is here. It is present. And I think it's just a process of, you know, after you finish kind of, um, you know, processing whatever it is you're letting go, turning and realizing, you know, that the person that you are meant to be with, they are there. They are present. This, you know, they do want to be in your life. You might not be able to see it right this second, but I do feel like there's somebody thinking about you, somebody attracted to you, and somebody coming towards you, even though you are kind of going through a process of releasing some things. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles clarifying this. Virgo energy can be significant. Capricorn with this Queen of Pentacles because of this whole process of just kind of getting in touch with yourself, anchoring in this beautiful nine of pentacles energy, knowing who you are, knowing your value, you are attracting in someone that is looking for something stable, something long-term, and it is somebody who's genuine. And with the queen of pentacles clarifying the five of cups, somebody who sees you as somebody that they could get serious with, somebody who recognizes your value and somebody who wants to be in your life and to be all in. Once again, you may not even know if you're kind of processing some things, but you are attracting in something very positive, something very stable, because in this person's intentions, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy could be significant, but this is somebody wanting to take a step forward. This can be somebody completely new that you could really see yourself with, or this can be somebody coming forward in a new way because they recognize that things need to be different. Things need to, you know, be honest. Things need to be open. Things need to be genuine. And if they're going to be in their life, they're going to have to be ready, you know, to, um, to express the fact that they do feel more seriously about you and they do want to be a present and current part of your life. Not somebody who is just imagining or dreaming or planning, but somebody who really shows up, somebody who really takes steps to let you know that they are there. This can be the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. You definitely are attracting in something, something very positive, something potentially lasting and something very stable, but it's because of this beautiful inner work that you are doing. So your potential outcome is the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Seven of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, Leo, and Taurus could be significant here, but I do have to say that um, there is this energy of you really owning everything that you are, maybe taking some time to nurture yourself, now, setting intentions about what you want, the kind of connection that is valuable to you and important to you, special and sacred to you. There's something about anchoring all that in that is causing somebody to see you, to see you as someone they can get serious with, see you as someone that they want to be exclusive with, take things to the next level with. They're recognizing that. They're coming towards you. And I have to say with the sun, and we did see the sun kind of peeking out of the deck of the cards of the person over here as well, which, you know, to me, um, shows you that there is somebody coming towards you that sees you as their happiness and it is somebody that you've set you know 
you set your intentions to attract in like this higher vibration, very positive, very open, very honest, genuine connection. And that's what that's what you've got. That's what you've got coming towards you. Could be some really beautiful things unfolding here in February. But with the sun, it's good news. Whenever the sun comes into a reading, no matter the challenging energies that are present, it warms up the whole entire reading. It brings light. It brings happiness. It brings openness. It brings honesty. It brings communication. It is for me a union card, a reunion card at times, but it is somebody being open and honest and present. And I feel like that's what's really going on. Like if there has been somebody, you know, who has been very quiet or has been, you know, not really communicating what it is that they're feeling towards you, there is a major shift here and you are attracting in somebody who's open and honest. And with the seven of pentacles, this is a divine timing card. This is a card of something that you've been waiting for and hoping for that is a about to bear fruit. This is waiting, but with complete and utter expectation that what it is that you're hoping for is coming towards you. This is you having an opportunity to just reach out and pluck the beautiful fruit of all the things you've set your intentions on and manifest it in. And something you've been waiting with complete and utter expectation is, um, is ripening and is showing up in your life. And it's just honestly a matter of time here. Your person, for their potential outcome, has the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the Seven of Pentacles. Gemini energy here with the Lovers. And we talked about the Gemini energy, but everything. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius present with that King of Swords. And they also have the Seven of Pentacles here, Taurus energy. It's very interesting. Before we talk about that Lovers and that King of Swords there, the Seven of Pentacles is the final card on both sides. It's mirroring both. Both of you, both of you have been waiting and hoping for this moment, for this chance, for this opportunity to take this to the next level, to move forward, to, you know, really explore what this can be. And something that both of you have been waiting and hoping for is coming together here now in the near future. With the King of Swords, it's very interesting because you began this whole thing with the King of Swords, which is really setting intentions for the kind of connection you want, the kind of person that you want in your life. And here it is showing up in the potential outcome somebody who is becoming very clear about you it's honest it's authentic it's somebody who has also set their heart and mind and their intentions on you they're coming forward but not in this energy of you know all lo logic all serious of course that's here but they're coming forward with the lovers this is somebody who is seeing you as their potential one this is somebody who could be falling deeply in love with you. This could be someone who recognizes that you're the one that they want to spend all their, all their everythings with is what I got, it. you know, the little things, the big things, the, you know, um, all those moments. And it's somebody who feels like the two of you could be very happy together. And with this seven of pentacles, it is somebody who has been waiting for a moment, waiting for an opportunity and waiting for someone like you all of this time coming together in the middle of your potential outcome. You have the sun and the lovers on both sides. And both of you have the seven of pentacles. You've both been waiting and hoping for this. And now is the moment with the sun and the lovers. There's good news. There's two people coming together. Could for some of you, it could be a strong soul connection, but it's somebody who is opening up, somebody who is recognizing your value, and somebody who is making you very happy by telling you that they feel like you could absolutely be the one, the one they've been waiting for, the one that they've been hoping for, and the one that they want to be with beautiful reading here. So I love that. I love that energy. I love that scene coming through for you, especially with all the energies of the things that you've been processing and releasing, this beautiful intention setting and how you're attracting in somebody that is a match for this energy that you are in now. So if you like the reading, I'd love you put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com. It's in the description box. And if you're interested in bonus content throughout the month, my Patreon is open as well. I just put up a very in-depth collective love message for anyone who is guided to join me on Patreon in the month of February or anyone who is currently there. So definitely check that out. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of February. I will be bringing your how do they truly feel messages in the middle of the month. Thank you so much.